What are the top five most powerful cards in the Exploding Kittens universe? I'll be giving you my answer right here in this video. To start, we need to lay out some important criteria. This list omits the Diffuse card, the Zombie Kitten card, the Exploding Kitten card, and the Imploding Kitten card. The Diffuse and Zombie Kitten cards, while very useful, act more as the key to the game rather than unique action cards. And the Exploding and Imploding Kittens, powerful as they may be, are not playable cards on their own. With that said, let's jump into my top five picks. Number five, the Clone card from Zombie Kittens. If you place this card onto whatever card is on top of the discard pile, it mirrors that card's ability along with its rules. This card is the jack of all trades when it comes to its cloning ability. If you've ever looked at the top of that discard pile with Envy, the clone card will satisfy your craving. Not only that, but this card can also be played in combination with a cat card to make a pair, so long as you play it on top of that initial cat card. The only stipulations are that you can only play this card on your turn, and you cannot play a clone card on top of another clone card. Number four, the Attack of the Dead card from Zombie Kittens. This card allows you to not only skip your turn, but to also force the next player to play three whole turns per each dead player. It goes without saying that this card is about as brutal as they come. If you play this card towards the end of the game, once a handful of players have been blown up, you just might end up winning the game. It's also worth noting that this card can be stacked with other attack cards, so if you end up being the victim, go ahead and pass it along. Number three, the Tower of Power card from Barking Kittens. Place the Tower of Power hat on your head and put the stash of cards inside. From now on, whenever anyone tries to steal from you, they they must draw from the cards within your hat. This card is uniquely powerful in that it protects you from every kind of stealing. Even if someone lays a three of a kind down on you, it doesn't matter. All thieves must draw from your illustrious hat. The only downside to this card is that you have to wear the crown for the rest of the game. But when such power lays atop your scalp, what is it to complain about? Number two, the Curse of the Catbuck card from Streaking Kittens. Select a player of your choosing. That player must shuffle their hand and lay it face down on the table. They're not allowed to look at any of their cards until they've drawn a card during their turn. Turn. They can blindly play cards from the top of their deck, but any cards that have an unusable ability must be discarded. Perhaps the scariest part of this card is that if it's been played on you and you draw an Exploding Kitten card, that card does not count as a draw. This means that you must blindly draw from your deck one card at a time until you've successfully drawn a Diffuse card. Any card drawn that wasn't a Diffuse card is instantly discarded. If you don't have a Diffuse card to begin with, you explode with not even a single card to your name. Known for both its utter savagery and its ability to turn the game completely on its head. This card is both the prize and the bane of players everywhere. It's also a great way to end some of those pesky friendships. The only thing that just might tarnish this card's good reputation is how it massively complicates the rules of the game. The game makers themselves have admitted that they regret ever making the card due to the fact that there's no simple way to play it. That said, this reason alone keeps the Curse of the Catbuck card from the top spot. Before I reveal my number one pick, here are a few noteworthy mentions. The Katomic Bomb card from Streaking Kittens. This card allows you to collect all of the exploding kittens cards from the deck and to place them on top of the draw pile. The rest of the cards are then shuffled and placed beneath the exploding kitten cards. After this, you skip your turn. Needless to say, this card is a great way to intimidate everyone at the table. There's just one major chink in its armor, and it's that this card can easily be thwarted by a simple shuffle card, a draw from the bottom card, and many other cards. Still, it's a fun card to play. The Alter the Future Times 5 card from Streaking Kittens. This card allows you to look at the top five cards in the draw pile and arrange them in any order you'd like. As with all the Alter the Future cards, a simple shuffle card can quickly dismantle your plans. Despite that, this times five card can still set you up for success and others for destruction. Number one, the Streaking Kitten card from Streaking Kittens. So long as this card remains within your possession, you're able to hold an Exploding Kitten card in your hand. In a game that's loaded with powerful cards, this card raises the bar to a whole new level. What other card allows you to hold the power of an Exploding Kitten in the palm of your hand? Not only that, but this card can also be stolen by another player or given by you of the favor card. In either case, the other player must defuse the Exploding Kitten card immediately. Now, it is worth mentioning that if at any point you lose the Streaking Kitten card, you must defuse the Exploding Kitten card in your hand right away. Even in light of the risks, there's no doubt in my mind that this card is the single most powerful card in the game. It's given me the upper hand on more than one occasion, and I've rarely ever been caught with it, due in large part to the fact that it's hard to tell if someone has it. That said, I'm excited to see if any future expansions can even come close to releasing a card as powerful as this one. What are your top five most powerful Exploding Kittens cards? Type your ranking in the comments below. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Take care and I'll see you around.